Hi friends, welcome back to Keep It Up with Miss Electra and welcome to my fall home tour. So it's, okay, so this is how I decorated this year. It's a little different from last year. If you want to see last year's video, I'll put a link and you'll see the way I decorated my front last year. So I like how I did it this year, a little more fun. And I like that I incorporated my jack-o'-lanterns because I'm not going to incorporate that for my Halloween front porch decor so I want to use them and I think it looks cute for fall these jack-o'-lanterns so take your jack-o'-lanterns out for fall decor I think it looks really cute that's what I did this year so I got my mums here uh, I got this actually I got I got from Costco it's really cute the way they did it and I just love it and this one I actually grew it was dying and then I took little stems and I took the stems, the ones that were healthy, and I put them in the dirt and they just grew. So yes, it was little baby ones. So this is like special to me. And I'm so happy to see them, you know, thriving. And you can do that. It's called, um, I forgot what it's called, but you could take the stem and then it'll grow roots. And yeah, that's what it did this year. So I'm really proud of this. And it was so tiny, I can't even explain. I can't believe it grew this big. So yeah, that's a little special. The white ones are kind of like dying, I think. And then I put the black little boots and then some pumpkins. I put the white, I put the white mums in this jack-o'-lantern tin. I've had it for many, many years. I don't know where it's from. This one I've had for many, many years. It lights up. You put a candle in there. I just love it. You know I'm digging the terracotta this year for everything. So I love it. And then I still have my basket. I just put a little yellow kind of um, draping flowers. And this hello mat, which I love. I got that from Amazon. I wanted to layer it, but my porch is so little. And it's not even a porch. But my doorway is so little so i just left it like that but everyone's like putting um a bigger mat and then that on top of it which i love i'm gonna try if i do do it i'm gonna show you how i do it all right and then i put um hay rides i put the hay on this um little this little wagon i've had i think that wagon is from kirkland's and then i put my Hello Fall, I think that's from Hoppy Loppy. And I think these pumpkins, these pumpkins aren't real, they're fake, So, which is good. I didn't spend any money, I had them from last year. And these are from Hobby Lobby too. Okay, so let's go inside, I'm gonna show you my fall decor inside. Okay, we're greeted by both the dogs. <laughs> they're playing right now. That's Trixie and um, Daisy. <laughs> They play. All right, so yeah, we're greeted by these. Okay, so when you walk in, this is what you see. This is what I did this year. It's different from last year's. You have to see last year's video, and then you're going to see the difference. I took the table, and then I added the shelf. I want to put a little bench underneath, but I didn't do that yet. All right, so I got these lanterns, and then over here I put welcome, and I put these little um, pumpkins. So up here, this is what I created on this little ledge. I think it looks really pretty. You could do something like this for your fireplace too. So all these pumpkins are from Pottery Barn. So you put lights in them. I have lights only on one and it looks really pretty. I need to get more of those lights and just put them in there. So, and it would look really beautiful. Okay, but this pumpkin at the end is for Pier 1 Import a very long time ago. So I wanted to get this pumpkin in the real large room, but it was sold out. And then I remembered I had this one, and I think it went pretty well. So then I put like, um, kind of like that moss, I don't know what you want to call it, down. And then I put the pumpkins on top. This can actually be good for Halloween too, guys, I think, right? And then I got these black candlesticks from Target. And then the black candles I got from Target too. So this is what I did on this ledge. 
And Daisy loves to sit on that step all the time. And these, I, I keep a little bucket that says dog stuff because I'm always throwing their brush or something or something they're wearing or their collar and I just put it in there. Okay, and then I have a few things in the corner over there, pumpkin, hay rides, a basket and pumpkin patch on the hearth and hand basket. So yeah, nothing's really going on in that corner. Some vintage keys. And then I have that basket from Target, which I love. And I have the sunflowers in there. And that's it for this side. And then when you turn over here, it is my dining room. I saw this is how it is. Nothing changed. I might not keep this setting for Thanksgiving. I might change it up. But I will show you guys definitely. But now it's like this. It's like this as soon as you walk in. And then you just walk and i have the stacked pumpkins right. so right here is my living room it's a little different from last year if you would see last year's video i'll put a link up so you can see last year's video and just see the difference okay so right here right here is the toys for my doggies and um so over here okay so right here i put some jack-o-lanterns i think these are really cute so these I picked up from Lowe's, so I love them. That galvanized one lights up. These don't, but I want to put some lights in them. Then I just have a basket with blankets and some plaid pumpkin pillows, I guess. That's what I call them. This is my TV. And then down here, I just have, you know, acorns in this old chippy little house i don't know greenhouse i don't know what you would call it i have a terracotta plant and then i have five because we're five and then the pumpkin and candle and then this you know pumpkin sweet corn eggs i had that from last year so i put that back there okay and over here i have my ladder I always have that. I just have like a little house. I always have that, that little house. And then this is kind of like a amber mason jar, I want to say, not even mason jar. But yeah, so that has a little cotton stem. This is very like rusticy pumpkins that are like really rusticy. So I just put it on the barn ladder. All right. Okay, so then right here is my mantle. So I put pumpkin patch sign, which I love. And then I have those draping leaves from Hobby Lobby. I love those leaves and they look pretty real. So right. then on the mantle, I just put this lantern and then some pumpkins, a tobacco basket. And then over here, some books. And then I filled this jar up with tiny, tiny little pumpkins. And I did the same to this lantern and then i have some orangey kind of pumpkins and those are from the dollar tree i still have those i actually like those and then i have a wooden garland and then wooden leaves that i think i got from home goods last year or the following year i can't remember and then right here, I have Hello Fall. I love that sign. I think I got that from, oh, I don't even remember, guys. Maybe you, you guys would remember better. Was it Michael's or was it, I think it was Michael's. And then I have, I have this vintage, I don't know what you want to say, crate, box. I bought that from an antique store. And all I did was open it up and put all these pumpkins. And a lot of these pumpkins light up. So at night, it looks really nice. So I just put in those pumpkins in there. I think that came out really cute. Now, over here, don't mind the tables because I need to finish painting it. All right, so right here on this side table, this is not gonna stay, but since we, since we had a space over here because we changed the couch and we got rid of the other one, we just had an open space. So then I just ended up putting these two tables here just to decorate for fall. All right, so I like how this came out. As you can see, I'm using a lot of terracotta. That's my orange for this year 
for my full decor. So you can notice I have orange pumpkins and I have the, the terracotta vase in the little house from Hearth and Hands. So I love it. I love that I use the terracotta for my orange this year. All right, so these are the pumpkins. These are from Target. Okay, and then I put the little pumpkins from Target Dollar Spot, the white ones, in this little, I think, dough bowl. In this dough bowl, I guess. And that's from um, Home Goods. And then I picked up these cute little houses from Hearth and Hand. This one's from Hearth and Hand. I think they look cute and I, I love the little houses. I'm really like feeling that for the fall. Okay, and down here I have two lanterns from Walmart. They do open, turn, I do turn them on at night. They have little lights in there and it does look really pretty. So I put the two lanterns, I did exactly the same to them. Here's a closer look, I think it's really cute. And then I can decorate these little houses for Christmas too, so that, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so I gotta redo my table. And um, I love that it's white like this and worn out, but I need to redo it because I filled up some spots with the wood filler and now I have to paint this over and I got to put a stronger um, seal, at least on the top because we use it a lot. So that is, that's what I'll be doing soon, hopefully before Christmas. Okay, so right here I put another terracotta vase. And then I put the sunflowers. I put this little pumpkin, it's a candle from Target. And then I have this little house for many years. You put a tea light in there, it's really cute. And I got that from Pure One a long time ago. Trixie's right there. She's sitting by my little basket. That basket, I always have magazines. This is just a throw, a brown one I got from, I think it's Hobby Lobby. So these pillows are from Pottery Barn. This one's from Pottery Barn many, many years ago, maybe 10 years. Pottery Barn and Pottery Barn. So this throw, it's very pretty. This one's from Pottery Barn too, and it has like tassels. So I just love this. Yeah, so that's it for my living room. That's how I decorated for fall. And, okay. uh, and this is my kitchen. I have a small kitchen. It's not big, but this is how I decorate it for now. So right here, I have my scale with the two white pumpkins. And then I have um, over here a small table, but I have all my black and white pillows. So I left this area black and white for now, but I think for Thanksgiving, I'm going to add a little more orange in here. So I have my pillows. And then I have this scale here with the pumpkin spice on top. And then I have those little white houses from Hearth and Hand and the little cow creamer. Okay, anchor tablecloth, that's from Hearth and Hand. So I put that there and this is the kitchen towel that matches it. Okay, so, and then in the middle, I like this because you could just take it, you know, off from the middle of your table. It's very easy because it's in a tray. So if you always, if you want decor that's easy to get off your table, just put in a tray and then when you want to use the table, just lift it and you don't have to worry about getting all the little things off. So that's what I do and I find it very easy. All right, so right here, I just put the apple cider can, Hobby Lobby, and then these full flowers, dry, dry full flowers from Hobby Lobby. I just put the little cow in there, farm fresh, and then some cow coasters, they're corkscrew. So and then these beads, I think those are from Hobby Lobby. So that's what I did. I think it, it looks cute for full. This is how my little corner looks. I might paint this bench. I might paint this bench and table white, I'm thinking. I don't know. But anyway, here's a little cart because my kitchen is small, so then I put all my jars here sugar um kind of like my baking stuff in the bottom and then up here i just have the oils and yeah and i put that all my oils in the hearth and hand basket for now 
It's really used for forks, knives, and napkins, but I think it worked good, and I have my honey in here too. All right, and over here is my lemons because I always make lemon water. So yes, that's gonna stay there for now. And then over here, I have a vintage scale with my mini little apples from Target Dollar Spot. And then I have my mugs and the canisters from Pure One Import. And right here, I have the bread and then these two apples that I think I bought from, hmm, those apples, I think one of them are from Pure One Import, but not now, this is like years ago. And the other apple is from Hobby Lobby, I'm guessing. All right, so on my windowsill, I just put welcome and happy pumpkin spice season, a little squirrel, and then my sunflower, little mini sunflowers with hello fall and a little white pumpkin. And then in my sink, I just have this. I showed it recently. I got it from Pier 1 Import. And then I just have, oops, let's turn this around. And then I just have my Mrs. Myers, everything I'm using. My spray, my hand soap, and my dish soap. And then over there, I just have some M&Ms in the pumpkin jar from Target. Okay, and then my cake stand from Hearth and Hand. I just put these little mini pumpkins in there. I didn't. I didn't have no cake or anything. I was like, let me just put the little pumpkins in there. I think it looked cute. And then I have the, actually in the back, I have my rolling pins behind this bakery thing. This bakery tin from Hobby Lobby. And then I have some vintage spoons, which I got off of Etsy. And they're very cute. This one says hot cocoa. This one says gather. These are the full ones. I have Halloween ones too. This one's tea, book, and a blanket. And then this is pumpkin spice. So I think they're cute. They're vintage. They're real vintage ones. And she just, you know, stamps whatever actually you want on the spoon. So, all right. And then over here, I just have my salt, my pepper. I use that for cooking. And then the creamer. And the sugar. Alright, so this is the end of my tour. This is the kitchen. I ended I ended with the kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of my house. And let me know what was your favorite part of my house. And if you have any questions, any comments, just leave it down below. So if you like my fall home tour, give this video a thumbs up. Share my video. Tell a friend. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. So you can see more of my other videos and all the other stuff that I do. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, keeping up with Miss Electra. And thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a nice fall season. And I will see you in my next video. And I hope you always remember to keep designing life. Bye.